Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about Power Apps Pipeline. First, let's talk about why we need Pipeline. In Power Apps projects, we need three different environments for application lifecycle management. The first one is Dev environment. The developer develops project in Dev environment. After that, the project moves QA environment for testing, and then project moves to production environment for the end user. It's possible to do these operations for one single button with pipelines. If we don't use pipelines, we need to make these operations manually. If we make manually, first we need to export projects from dev environment to QA environment. After that, we need to import from QA environment to prod environment. It's more complicated and unnecessary work. Let's continue with pipeline side. I will use dev environment as a host environment. I need to install Power Apps Pipeline to dev environment. And I will click dev environment. I will go resources and Dynamics 365 apps. And here uh, I will install Power Platform Pipelines. Next. And it's installing. It may take some time. It's installed now. Here we have deployment pipeline configuration and I will play this model driven app. We will make pipeline setup here. First we need to add our environments here. I, I wrote my environments IDs. You can find your environment IDs here. And after that uh, I will add my environments. First I will add my dev environments. And uh, I will write here environment ID. I will copy here and paste here. And uh, I need to specify environment type and its development environment. And I will save and close. And I will add QA environment. And its environment type should be target environment. First, I will deploy dev environment to QA environment and QA will be target and I will paste here QA environment ID and I will save and close. And the last one is prod environment. And the prod environment type is also target environment and I will paste prod environment ID and I'll save and close. After that, I will come to pipelines section and I will add new pipeline. Uh, name will be deployment pipeline. And I will save and close. And I will click my pipeline. I need to add my development environment here and I will click add existing development environment and I will add my dev environment here. Now I need to create my deployment stages. First I will create dev to QA stage and uh, I need to click new deployment stage. My stage name will be dev to QA and I don't have any previous deployment stage because it's, uh, this is the first deployment, uh, dev to QA and, and I need to specify my target environment and I will deploy dev to QA and I will save and close. I need one more stage for QA to prod and I will click new develop deployment stage and name will be QA to prod. Now I have one previous deployment stage because before this deployment I have one more stage. Now my target environment will be prod environment and that's all for stages. Now I will see these stages in solutions. Let's go solutions. I will come here and I will create new solutions. It will be test solution 
and I select publisher and I'm creating now. Yes, my solution is ready and I will come to this section, it's pipeline section and I have my deployment pipeline and here my stages. This is development environment, this is QA and this one is prod environment as you can see. For example, if we need to uh, deployment from Dave to K, you will click deploy here and next. It will deploying from development to K. This is optional area. If, if you want to clear this, you can clear. It's deploying and it may take some time. Same things for deploy to prod stage. Uh, after this deployment finish, you can click deploy here. Uh, in in prod environment and the other steps is the same with the before that's all for this video we talked about power apps pipeline stages and deployment configurations thanks for watching me see you in next video